There exists a smorgasbord of imaginative theories pertaining to the original construction of many ancient sites found all over Earth. Egypt's Giza Plateau being the melting pot and often the site of initiation for many an astute researcher. A realization of not only the megalithic anomalies, but also the academic ignorance. As we have previously mentioned, a discovery first shared here upon our channel, enormous granite stones exposed on the east side of Cheops. has not only revealed the size of the original blocks, but the extensive erosion upon them. This fact is a highly controversial piece of evidence. The stones, which are clearly more modern casing stones, conceal what were already highly eroded blocks, masterfully covered later on in their lives. It confirms our claim that they were a conservation effort, vindicating our claims of immense age and revealing academia's ignorance to not only be deliberate, but possibly conspiratorial. As technology has advanced, it has allowed for many theories to be tested on computer programs, by testing real-world tensions and stresses, allowing us to weed out the ideas that would have been simply impossible. The most interesting outcome of this so far is undoubtedly the theories surrounding cracks in the weight-bearing blocks in the Grand Gallery. Computer simulation has shown that these blocks easily withstand the weight above, so to have cracked at some time in history, a substantial additional weight was added. And although many of these same academics are now convinced that this was some form of counterweight, we know that these enormous presumed weight-bearing blocks are not the only ones to be found within the structures. These enormous stones have rendered many theories regarding the original build as incomplete. However, there exists a theory which seemingly fits not only for the placement of the casing stones, but also the mysterious semi-crushed Grand Gallery. Khufu's ship, a vessel we have covered in the past, found masterfully dismantled and placed in order of its construction at the base of the Grand Pyramid, has been found to possess some intriguing features. Author and researcher Itzvan Soros puts forward this highly compelling hypothesis concerning the many unusual characteristics of the Khufu ship, and indeed their connection to the movement and placement of the casing stones which we see today. This theory involves the flooding of the Nile to accomplish these placements. This would explain the unimaginably immense weight that the pyramids clearly once experienced, and the cracks within the gallery blocks. Itzvan goes into detail, explaining that much of the boat could have been repaired and replaced at ease, and most interestingly, that it could be deliberately flooded at will. Even recognizing and explaining their unusual docking stations found all along the shores of Sakura. Did the Khufu ship really have something to do with the conservation stones found upon the great monuments? We find the evidence to suggest such highly compelling.